Our next finalist, ladies and gentlemen, is from Curtin University, and her name is Sarah Marley. She's looking at behavioural and acoustical responses of coastal dolphins to noisy environments, and her 3MT talk is called Say What? Coastal Dolphins and Noisy Environments. Will you please make her very, very welcome? Good afternoon, everyone. I'd like to start off today with a bit of a relaxation exercise. So take a look at the top picture on the screen behind me and imagine you're really there sitting at the beach. You've got the breeze rustling by, the waves lapping at your feet, maybe a lone seagull flying overhead. Take a deep breath in and relax. Sounds pretty calm and peaceful, right? Well, it's not quite so calm and peaceful beneath the waves. The ocean's never been a quiet place. It's full of natural noise from wind, waves, and currents, and biological noise from crustaceans, fish, and marine mammals. You see, light doesn't travel very far underwater, so as a result, many marine organisms have evolved to use sound rather than vision to explore the world around them. Some of those animals with the most elaborate and extreme acoustic specializations are dolphins. They use sound to communicate with each other, find prey, avoid predators, and even of echolocation since objects in the water around them. But over the last few decades, the ocean's been increasingly filled with another noise source, us. We've got seismic, sonar, pile driving, dredging, big boats, medium boats, small boats, jet skis. The ocean was never quiet, but it has suddenly become a very noisy place. And for many dolphin species, their habitat overlaps directly with ours. This puts them directly at risk from human disturbance, which can have long-term effects on their foraging success, reproduction, maybe even survival of the population. So we need to know, how do these animals cope living in an environment that suddenly become noisier than the one they evolved to fill? That's where my research comes in. To answer this question, I've spent the last year studying bottlenose dolphins living in the Swan River going through Perth. One of their main foraging sites is the Fremantle Port, you can see in the bottom of my slide. Not quite the nice uh, quiet beach we were imagining earlier. And I've been using a hydrophone, essentially an underwater microphone, to record sounds from the dolphins and their environment. I've also been visually observing the animals to record their behaviours. From this information, I can start to characterise exactly how noisy dolphin habitats are. I can also start to investigate their communication space. So, for example, if it's really quiet, maybe dolphins can communicate over a few hundred metres. But if it's really loud, this could be reduced to only a few dozen metres. I want to know, do dolphins have specific strategies for dealing with noisy environments? If their habitat's loud, maybe they have to be louder too. Or maybe they use visual behaviours more, just like us in a noisy bar. So, how do dolphins deal with noisy environments? Well, I'll tell you in two years. But until then, next time you're sitting at the beach enjoying a moment of calm, take some time to wonder, is it quite so calm and peaceful beneath the waves? Thank you.